Thursday night football is the kickoff for the weekend. Everybody knows that. So obviously, we're going to want to bet more than we can afford to lose, responsibly, on the Thursday night football game. It's the best way to figure out how our weekend's going to go before our weekend actually starts. This week, Washington Commanders host Chicago Bears. Kind of feels like something we have to bet on to watch. Lucky for us, I think I may have just stumbled upon greatness. We're talking the greatest bet of all time here, people. But before we get to that, do yourselves a favor, subscribe to this channel. It's not just for me, it's for you. It's for everybody. Because when you subscribe to this channel, you're going to hit bangers like Justin Fields, 200 plus passing yards, plus 120 at FanDuel. Holy shit. There is absolutely no way this bet can lose. I've already bet my night on it, and it's bowling night, so it's a must-win night. Everybody says this guy sucks, but does he? Does he? The guy just threw for 300 plus yards last week. Personally, I don't think he's that bad. He's obviously not going to the Hall of Fame, but he's getting hit here with sub 200 passing yards numbers. That's insulting. It really is offensive. The books may as well throw insults at his family or even kick his dog while they're at it. Hanging a sub 200 plus passing yards line is basically the same thing. For starters, this guy has gone over this number in three of the four games he's played this season. I'm not saying this guy's Tom Brady, but his standard line is literally 189 and a half passing yards with the overpriced at minus 114 at FanDuel. That's crazy. Guys get that in the first half. In fact, the only time he didn't go for 200 plus this season was when the Bears played the Kansas City Chiefs. That team actually has a pass defense. Only seven teams in the entire NFL have given up fewer passing yards to quarterbacks this season than the Kansas City Chiefs. What do you want the guy to do? He's not a magician. This week, Fields is looking at a team in the Commanders that give it up in the passing game. Only 11 teams in the entire NFL have given up 1,000 plus passing yards this season to quarterbacks and the Commanders have given up 977. They give it up. In my opinion, I think they'd already be in the 1,000-yard club, but they played the Cardinals in Week 1. It was raining that day, and they have Josh Dobbs playing quarterback, and they got beaten senseless by the Buffalo Bills in Week 3. Josh Allen literally stopped throwing the ball early in that game. The Commanders were already dead. That should not happen this week. The Commanders are going to score points on the Bears, probably. Not an illegal amount, but enough to make Fields a passer. We're talking about a team who just put up 31 points against the Eagles last week. I bet they score on the Bears. I think they can actually get into the upper 20s Thursday night. Maybe even more. If they do that, the Bears are going to be chasing points and will get paid off. Never forget, the Commanders have given up 33 plus points in each of the last three games they played. One of those games was against the Denver Broncos, so let's not act like they shut shit down. People do whatever they want to do against Washington. So as long as the Bears want to throw, they should be able to do it. Which is why we need to be on DJ Moore, 60 plus receiving yards, plus 142 at FanDuel. We already know Justin Fields is going to be slinging the rock all over the field. We literally just talked about that two seconds ago. So if he's throwing, somebody's going to have to be catching. And that someone has to be DJ Moore. It just has to be. I've been thinking about this all day. For starters, DJ Moore has been targeted at least six times in each of his last three games. He's got 100 plus receiving yards in two of those three games. Once shit gets out of hand, the ball just finds DJ Moore. That's important because only five teams in the entire NFL have given up more receiving yards to the wide receiver position than the Washington Commanders. They couldn't cover DJ Moore if you gave him a tarp. They have legit given up a 100 plus receiving yard game from at least one wide receiver in each of the last three games. That's crazy. One of those guys is Marvin Mims. I think it was like his second career game. If we're being fair, I don't think they have a pass defense. Now I know what you're thinking. Slop, why are we only doing 60 plus for plus 142 when we could be looking at 100 plus? I like the way you think, and you're right. Right now, DJ Moore, 100 plus receiving yards, is plus 700 at DraftKings. There is no chance that line's gonna exist as the game gets closer. I'd say we just go 110 plus receiving yards for plus 1100. We really need to stick it to the books, and that's one way to do it. That's gonna do it for this episode. I'm going to see you guys back here in the Thunderdome on Friday. We have an unbelievable show. We're talking the great Lucy Burge back from the dead to totally redeem herself from the stinker she put up last week. On top of that, Dead Prez is joining us too. That guy hasn't beat me in months. I can't wait to see him. I'll see you then.